there, Purple Fam Fam. You're just in time for another review, Purple Gang Gang Style. Today, we're going to be talking about Junkyard Joe. Now, I must confess, I did not know much about Junkyard Joe prior to starting this review. He is an Image Comics property, and I've included a link on this tile, but I'll also include it in the descriptions. I do encourage you to learn more about this uh, interesting guy, but hey, let's go ahead and get started. First and foremost, let's check out some box art. You know, we got the front box art. Looks like Junkyard Joe's creeping out of the jungle. Then we got the backside, some action poses, some comic tiles. Then we got a little side view action. There he is, just a blown up image from the front art. And then the other side, uh, more comic tiles. But hey, you didn't come here to look at pictures, did you? Let's, let's look at some of the accessories. So first and foremost, you're going to notice he's got a 1911 style pistol. He's got a knife that could be a fixed bayonet style uh then of course we've got the landmine the m16 his dog tags his combat hat and yeah uh did i also mention uh junkyard joe's also got a couple packs of cigarettes a chocolate bar a canteen some extra magazines some grenades i did leave out the blast effects which we have seen those before they do affect to the pistol and to the m16 style rifle and yeah, that's what we got. That's what we're looking at as far as accessories. He comes chock full of accessories, folks. You're definitely going to want to get your hands on some of these accessories. And insert dad joke. Speaking of hands, he's got all the hands. Ten, ten interchangeable hands to be exact. One pair of left and right fists, one pair of open hands, one pair of trigger hands, one pointing, I know it was you, Fredo hand, one card holding hand, one gun resting hand, and one saluting hand. That's right. He's got all the hands. You want to get your hands on them, put those hands on your figures, hold things with your figures. He's going to do it all. And let's check out his, his poker hand while we're talking about it. Uh, doesn't look like he's working with much, but then again, I'm not entirely familiar with the property. So maybe this has some type of meaning that is completely unaware to me, or maybe he just is shy at cards. I don't know. Read a comic book uh, and let me know in the comments because, as I mentioned, I'm a bit clueless. One thing I'm not clueless is to the soft goods. So he's got his harness here. Uh, it goes well with his jungle fatigues. It has a holster for the 1911-style pistol. Um, you can also attach the uh, bayonet-style knife to it. Uh, there's his helmet. I don't know if it's really soft goods, but, hey, you know, it's, it's part of the uniform, right? So we can't leave that out. I really do like the detailing on the uniform and specifically the helmet um i'll get more to that helmet towards the end of the video and then let's check out his fatigues you know it's got his name there on the breast and his branch uh the stench is impeccable the combat boots are looking great um there appears to be a od green undershirt underneath but it is stitched closed so let's check out his articulation um so go ahead and take off your helmet there you will notice that legs moving forward pretty good, right? Um, we got double jointed legs. Yep, this guy's got, yeah, he's going to hit a T post. One thing I will tell you more than once in this video whenever you're dealing with something that's got soft goods like that, make sure you feel for the joints so you don't inadvertently turn it the wrong way. Yeah, T post it up, buddy. And yeah, uh, he's got upper ab swivel or ab crunch however we want to call it let's call it ab crunch and of course lower ab crunch look at this dude look at this dude he can darn near kiss his kneecaps um uh, yeah that's what i like in my uh vietnam era robots uh kneecap kissing and yeah there there he goes he, he's movable double jointed arms as we're uh seeing more and more in the mesco line uh neck moves pretty good leg you know it is somewhat limited by the fatigue but then again you know are you expecting him to be like a ninja or uh, a vietnam era robot going out and collecting uh, okay we're just gonna sit crisscross applesauce or, or my approximation of it but yeah he's a mover he's a shaker you can hit all the poses you need to hit with him moves good looks good let's uh check out some size comparisons all right so first up we have who's that oh homeless joe damn toys line um you know i'm I figured, uh, yeah, they, they look like uh, they could party together. I don't necessarily know that this would be a great uh, comparison when it comes to fighting because, uh, yeah, he's just not designed for that. He's designed to hang out and have a good time. Next up, we've got another Joe, G.I. Joe Classified, Alley Viper. Now, they're about, you know, pound for pound, they're about the same height. Uh, Junkyard Joe is a little beefier. Obviously, he's got the soft goods. Uh, he's a little more imposing. Maybe I should have done a comparison with bats. He could have, you know, hacked an army, right? And next up, we've got the Joe Vasapolo figure versus Junkyard Joe. Now, I'm going to go ahead and call this Joe fight. Uh, you never know what he's going to pull out. 
of that mini tool pouch, and he always means business. You know, the pop and swap lord of Four Horsemen Studios toy design, Joe Vasapolo. And for our final size comparison, wow, is that Chucky and Reptar? You know what? There's not going to be any battle here. They're just going to absolutely have a blast tromping through the woods, making the best of friends. And yeah, so uh, that, that's what I got as far as size comparisons, folks. And you know I cannot bring a figure into the house without inducing it to the fam. There we go from the Armory Experience Purple Night Night with a Richard Simmons helm and a Darla Ackerman cape. There we got Van Johnson. Made by none other than the Toy Forge, Anthony House Hill, and uh, look, Junkyard Joe. He's got the Purple Gang Gang heart, and the rest of the family is MIA because I may have left him in a box on my way back from Legion's Con. So, final thoughts here. Well, the designed for Vietnam fatigues. You know, one thing though that got, that I was not a huge fan of the sling. I felt like that could have done better. It, you know, it doesn't really allow you to have it dangling from the shoulder and in the right position. And I think it would have been really cool if they would have went with uh, a magnetic implement for the cigarette packs. You know, the open and closed ones, as well as for the canteen to where it could be helmet mounted. I think that would have been cool. You know, maybe some playing cards, something like that. But you know, pound for pound, he is a great figure, and that is why. Without a shadow of a doubt, he gets the Purple Gang Gang seal of approval. Speaking of Purple Gang Gang, be sure to check us out every Saturday night at 9 p.m. Eastern on our YouTube channel, the official Purple Gang Gang. And yeah, you might win some prizes. Tell your friends, tell your family. And Jordan, tell them who we are. Purple Gang Gang.